Today is the day we've been telling you about for some time now. This afternoon, we will all safely have our eyes to the skies to see the solar eclipse. Some places in Tennessee will be better than others to see it all unfold, but there's a warning that's going out from optometrists about how to safely do this. The National Weather Service says mostly cloudy skies are expected across most of Middle Tennessee, so that could be a bummer. But the best chances of seeing it with those certified glasses, of course, is northwest of Nashville. So probably Clarksville or even a little further. The Tennessee Attorney General's office says the volunteer state is not in the path of totality for that full solar eclipse, but it's still enough to notice a big difference. But make sure you stay safe by having the correct glasses on or you could sustain some serious injuries. One optometrist is sending a big warning out to parents to make sure you supervise your children. They say kids are very susceptible to damage because they get more focalized damage than older people. Now, you know, kids sometimes take the glasses off thinking they're too dark and they just want a better view. But no, you want to watch them carefully. One astronomer says also just be patient. You may have to step outside a couple of times before you get the full experience. It's pretty hard to just sit and watch because it's kind of like watching grass grow at some point. But around 1230 or so, I'd go out and take a look because then you might notice that first bite out of the sun. And then, you know, maybe every 15 minutes or so, take a look. But around 2 o'clock is when it's going to hit that max of 95 percent. Now, there are a few ways for you to properly avoid getting that permanent damage, one of which is those glasses. Normal sunglasses are not going to cut it. They're not dark enough. So make sure you take precaution because damage can occur within one to two seconds of staring at the sun. Otherwise, just make it fun for you and your family or your coworkers that you'll probably be with for today's astronomical event. Reporting in downtown Nashville, Tony Sloan, News Channel 5.